Welcome, today I have another fantastic fossil cast for us to check out. This is Allosaurus fragilis, one of our big meat-eating theropods um, from Western North America. This one specifically is out from uh, Western Colorado from the Morrison Formation. So it was alive during the Jurassic about 149 million years ago. So you might be wondering, what exactly makes a theropod a theropod? So when we go and we think about these, these are all of our classic bipedal meat-eating dinosaurs, and they were set up for eating meat. And that's something we can see in the two fossil casts that I have for you today. Um, so all of our theropods were bipedal, which means they were walking and running on two feet. Um, they also had very large grasping hands um, where their thumb could kind of fall across the palm, which is really great if you're going to try to run out and grab and catch your prey item. Um, so let's take a quick look at uh, the Allosaurus foot. Um, what we'll notice here when we look at it, it has one, two, three toes that are touching the ground. It has this fourth digit, which is like your ring finger. Um, it's held up high and not part of the footprint. So it's kind of like a dew claw that you might see on your pet dog uh, if you take a look at it. Um, so it walked around on these three toes. So this tridactyl uh, foot arrangement is common for all of our neotheropods. Um, additionally, when we look at it, we can see that it walked around on its toe bones. Um, so these, um, the foot bones and the ankle is held up really high up off the ground. This is called a digitigrade posture. Um, so it was great. It gave them a longer stride by moving kind of toe to toe. Um, and they also, when we look at it with these three toes on the track, it also gave them a very distinct three-toed kind of V-shaped uh, footprint uh, that we do see sometimes uh, when we go and look at fossil trackways. Now, if we look at the hand, um, so when we look at this, this is a huge, large grasping hand, um, and that's a characteristic that it shares with all of its ovitheropods, so the other clades that it's in. Um, so it has a digit one, this big, huge one right here. Let's see, I can turn it around. It has this huge claw right here pretty big. Um, so this is semi-opposable and again can kind of fall across the palm and is really great for grasping. Digit two and three are also quite large and they have these big huge claw bones. Um, now these claw bones are, um, they're sharp at the ends but not on the underside um, and they would have been covered in a keratin sheath when this was alive. Um, so this setup is not really used for cutting, but is fantastic for grabbing and holding on to prey, uh, much like we see at owls and hawks today uh, when they're flying around trying to catch and hold on to their prey. Um, so definitely not a dinosaur that I would have wanted to encounter back during the Jurassic, um, but one that's really fantastic to check out um, and learn more about our theropods. So I hope you had fun learning about uh, Allosaurus with me today. With that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.